Hey folks, Jonathan here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a set of dollies. And these particular dollies are actually self-loading dollies. And uh, as you can see, this vehicle was hitting the rear real hard. And uh, tires was rubbing the, the fender on the inside. And front wheel drive. So you can't tow this. You know, you can't pick it up from the back and tow it from the front. You will burn the transmission up. And uh, there's no doubt about that. And you can't tow it, of course, with the wheels on the ground because of the tires rubbing. So these are self-loading dollies. These are light years ahead of what I started with. I actually started with a set of uh, homes. You know, we call them pan dollies. And uh, all they were was a short dolly with a solid bar and you had two tubes that ran across and with pen, you put pin them at each end and then you had pans that sit in them and then you set the tires in the pans. And now you had to pick the vehicle up to set them in it. There was no way of picking the vehicle up unless you, you know, used a jack or you could raise it up and, and put blocks under this, under the frame and then let it back down and get the back to come up. There was a lot of little tricks, but there was no good way of knowing it. And uh, you know, you was never in a, position to where it was an easy you know easy thing to do it, it seemed like it was always where you couldn't get your truck behind it or something like that so they came out with these self loaders and uh and i know i'm starting backwards here but uh i picked this up at a an accident just a you know a few minutes ago and i didn't want to uh film it on the side of the road so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up here and go ahead and let them down and show you how they pick up and then uh I'm going to give you some tips on on loading, uh, well, loading them in general, but loading them on a car with a flat tire, because that seems to be the big problem. And you wouldn't believe how many times I've went to wrecks, and there'd be, and not necessarily young drivers, I mean, just new drivers or, or new to a wrecker. You know, they had ran a rollback, but they had, uh, they had never ran a wrecker, and uh, they didn't know how to do it, or they was having trouble with it, and... Uh, so, you know, why anybody would send their driver out in the truck without showing them, I'll never know, but I guess it happens. Uh, you know, rollbacks are generally easier than, than a wrecker when it comes to, to towing and, and, you know, the things you gotta know, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this camera set up somewhere, and, or I may hold it, but I'll go ahead and get my, my bar and that's the bar is what you use to raise and lower them and uh i'll show you how they raise and lower and then we'll we'll set them up behind the vehicle and i'll show you how to do a flat tire okay your dollies consist of that solid bar there that's it's about a one inch bar and you can see mine's got some bend in it and stuff and i've beat on it and used it for a pry bar and everything else and that's that's probably going to happen on all wreckers but all wreckers i own for sure but uh, you have one dolly on each side and then you've got bars that are actually extendable that go across and you can see it all the way across. Now the old homes pan dollies, uh, the bars was not extendable. There was one length, you know, the pin dropped in here, it was a round tube. Uh, they worked really good and it was great for flat tires because the tire never hung down there. And the problem that you run into, you can see how close this is to the, to the ground. I mean, we're probably an inch and a half, two inches off the ground. But if you had a flat tire on this thing and, and you was trying to, to set your bars up and get them in as close as you can to the tire, the tire obstructs it and even being flat. And then when you go to pick it up, your rim is actually sliding down through and it's rubbing. So. You've got to set your dollies up, you know, in front of or be behind the vehicle to do it the way, you know, the way that you need to. And I'm going to show you that now. Okay, folks, I've got the dollies down. And uh, as you can see, and they're just flopping around. And I'll show you how you see how these latches go in. And you've got three positions on each corner. That you can put it and i've got these as far as part as i can get them because 
I didn't have a need to back onto my dollies or put, you know, drive the car, the vehicle on. Uh, I just slid it up under and, and picked it up because the tires were up. Okay, here is how your dolly should look. Set up on the ground behind the vehicle if it's got a flat tire. Okay, and I'll tell you another thing too. You can actually put the vehicle on the wheel lift, suck the wheel lift all the way in, set these dollies up behind the tire as close as you can get them. You can use the wheel lift to push them back onto it. And one reason of doing that is you, uh, of course you don't have to move your truck, but uh, you can see it a little, a little easier of you know, how it's going on and make sure it's not sliding them back. You gotta make sure anything like, you see the exhaust pipe's down low. You wanna lower the front of the vehicle as far as you can get it. That way when you uh, bring them back, you know, it, it's not gonna hit it and, and force it and, you know, hit the bar. But uh, if you notice, I've got them all the way in. And the reason being is you've got a flat tire and you don't want it to fall through. And, uh, and you really do need them all the way in if you got a flat, especially on a on an older car with 13s, 14s, whatever. And uh, I will show you how you raise them. Just take your bar and uh, stick it right in that square groove. Now, even with the vehicle on it, I mean, it takes a little leverage, but you can do this. And you just pivot it around. You'll hear it pop. And then you've got safeties on it. You can turn this to make sure this lever can't come up. That's exactly how you pick it up though. And as you can see, this is in the air. And I'll go ahead and do the front one. But that's how they work. They're, you know, not much to using them, but you, know, you learn as you go, there's a lot of little tricks. And, but the best trick is setting them up behind it and backing onto them because if it's a flat tire, you'll never get them that close together before you pick it up. And uh, you'll struggle with it. Every time you pick it up, the tire will be dragging the road. So, you know, and if you're at a wreck, you want to kind of keep things rolling as good as you can. And on the side of the road, nowhere to learn this. And, uh, and you can actually pin them. I've never had to, never done it. Uh, don't know anybody that does, but I guess, you know, they probably recommend it. They recommend strapping them down. You know, you can come up from here and with a loop strap around the tire, suspension, anything you need to do. Uh, but these are light years ahead of the old pan dollies, but, uh, and they make these, of course, in aluminum where they're a lot lighter. You don't, they're not, not so bad, but I'm not so old yet that I can't, can't handle them. So, and uh, a lot of people don't like to use dollies, but you got to remember, you, you know, you do get to charge for it. Insurance company, you know, does pay extra when you, when you have to use dollies. And, uh, you know, everybody, I've operated rollbacks for years and, you know, everybody will say, well, you know, I can get anything with a rollback as I can with a wrecker, but I've been doing it for 25 years and I've ran into some stuff that you wouldn't get with a rollback. And uh, you start putting stuff over a bridge into a creek, you know, there's not a lot you can do with it. Not feasible anyway. I mean, if you want to spend a couple of days, you might can get them, but, uh, you know, you, you take a wrecker out there and have it out in a matter of minutes. So, uh, Sometimes a wrecker comes in a lot better. Sometimes a rollback does. More often I've found that a wrecker works out better for me. But, all right, well I hope you've learned something. And uh, maybe it'll come in handy. Till next time, bye. And one more final tip. Check your tires every day. Uh, they seem to go flat a lot. The sun eats them up. You can see this one here is not real bad. It's one I've replaced, but this one here is cracking bad. These sit up here in the sunlight and the sun just eats them up. And uh, if you think you're going to uh, find a brand that is 
you know, the best and never gonna give you any trouble or brought away, good luck, because I've had all of them, tried them all. You just gotta deal with it. It'd be better if you find some covers or do like I did on my other truck and mount them under the truck. But the last place you wanna find out you've got a dolly that's flat is on the uh, side of the road when you're getting ready to pick a wreck up. And if you've got a boss, you know they don't wanna hear that. And a uh, good idea to keep you an extra one. When you buy these, you just as well buy them with the rim. They're cheaper, or they're as cheap. You know, cheaper if you had to pay somebody to change them, because they're a pain to change when they're that small. But uh, keep you an old extra one in your box, that's good. And uh, if you got a jack on your truck like you should have, you should have no problem changing that out if you had to on the side of the road. And uh, anyway, hope it helps. Bye.